Joe's a legend. He did jumps as nobody else has ever done. You know, he jumped across the Grand Canyon, jumped over a train coming at him, jumped building to building. He made his own way. I'm Wayne Moore on the 17th floor of the Landmark 6 where we're about to see the latest Kelowna premiere of a documentary by Kelowna documentary producer Adam Scorgi. It's Chasing Evil, the Robbie Knievel story. Adam, welcome back to Kelowna. Uh, butterflies, a little nervous? Yeah, always a little nervous, but uh, happy to be home and share this with my friends and family here in the Okanagan. You've already shown the film at a, a couple of film festivals. You've had uh, other screenings as well. What's the reaction been? It's, people are very moved by Robbie and what him and the Knievel family, you know, accomplished, but also we really show the dark side of the Knievel family. So I think a lot of people are really surprised what Robbie had to go through and didn't realize that he'd accomplished that much. Almost everybody knows evil, his father, but not a lot of people know Robbie's accomplishments. And we discuss that in the film, why that is, is because unfortunately fathers are supposed to step aside and let their sons take over their realm. Evil had a tough time doing that with Robbie. One of the, the quotes in the film is, evil broke bones, Robbie broke records. Robbie's done 350 successful jumps. He's got 22 world records. He completed almost every jump that his father failed other than Snake River Canyon. Yet, people still think of evil can evil because the one thing that Evil really had that Robbie never had was the charisma and the marketing behind him. I know as a producer, getting the reaction of friends, family, and, and, and others is one thing. Getting the reaction of the person involved and the subject matter of the documentary and their family is something totally different. What was Robbie and what was the Knievel family's reaction to what you produced? The Knievel family loved it. Robbie's mother loved it, his sisters and families. And actually, we're the first documentary to get all of the Knievels, the brothers, the sisters, the grandmother. We got them all. Robbie, you know, struggled, struggled with it at first, but has really come to like the film. And I think as time goes on, I think it's tough for anybody to watch a film that really does an expose of their life and really shows all their trials and tribulations and things, challenges that came up. So the more, the longer it went on, the more Robbie's liked it. But I don't think he ever... I don't think he loves it as much as he should. I think that will come in following years, though. Well, we know, Adam, that whatever you produce, whatever you put your name to, is, is going to be a good watch, and we expect that tonight. Wayne Moore for Castanet News at the premiere, Kelowna premiere, of Chasing Evil, the Robbie Knievel story for Castanet News. Communicate with other Castanet readers in our forum section, which can be found in the Opinions button in our yellow masthead.